We have already told the tale of events inside the stadium on this fateful occasion in our video 250 West Ham ICF stormed the Arsenal North Bank, where we tell the story of the ensuing battle that took place that day. This video concentrates on the aftermatch, especially the trouble at the Arsenal tube station. ICF member Mickey told us it had all kicked off all over the place after the match with us totally dominating the Arsenal lot. Even though they had superior numbers, we really took the piss, running their main mob. Police had lost control and we carried on our way to the tube station. When our train pulled into Arsenal station, there were hundreds of Arsenal waiting with all sorts of weapons, bricks, bottles, hammers, concrete and knives. As the train stopped, they banged on the windows and doors trying to smash them open. I think they expected us to cower and hide or run even. But when the doors opened, the ICF just steamed straight into them. Some of them ran into the station, but others ran down the tracks with the ICF in full pursuit. One of their lads was stabbed and unfortunately died. I didn't see the incident and don't want to discuss it here. Needless to say, it's not on. Stabbing anyone is totally against all our ethics as human beings. Anyway, I never saw an Arsenal mob like that before or since this occasion. I think any one other mob than the ICF might have been in trouble. But by steaming into them, we caught them off guard and they legged it big time. The whole day was an incredible victory for the ICF. But as I say, a very dark day also. Arsenal herd member Tony told us, no, it's unacceptable to be saying that. Arsenal weren't ambushing the ICF. It was the other way round. After the North Bank trouble, where the ICF couldn't take the North Bank, they were in full-blown rage, chasing normal Arsenal fans all around Highbury. I never saw a mob like it. Totally evil from start to finish. The streets around Highbury were like a battle scene, with injured fans being treated at the roadside and police hopelessly trying to restore a semblance of order. I managed to find my way to Arsenal Station and was waiting for the tube home when a train pulls in and off jump about 500 ICF. A mighty roar goes up ICF and everyone just ran. The ICF had all manner of weapons and steamed straight into any Arsenal that hadn't realised what was happening. People were falling all over the place and some ran down the tunnel. I saw West Ham run after them as I legged it up the station stairwell, falling over bodies as I did. I got out of the station, but a mighty roar behind me told me trouble was still going on in the station. It was all Arsenal running out the station exit. I waited a few minutes and saw the old Bill arrive in numbers and it all went quiet. I later heard an Arsenal fan had been stabbed and died. I'm not surprised given the ferocity of those West Ham fans that day. I relive the events over and over and the mere mention of West Ham or the ICF sends me into panic mode still to this day. Never seen such an evil mob of men and hope to God I never do again. We thank Mickey and Tony for their recollections in what was obviously an intense encounter. No one should lose their lives at a football match but unfortunately John Dickinson did. Forever remembered by the Arsenal faithful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for notifications of future videos. It really helps our channel grow.